Hello friends, in this tutorial we built Telegram bot using Java and Spring Boot and we tried to connect our Telegram bot to our existing Spring Boot LangChain integration. Thus we could communicate with uh, ChatGPT using Telegram. Okay, uh, let's start. First of all, we need to create a bot in Telegram. For this, just navigate to the browser in Google, enter Botfather. And you, uh, first, uh, your first result will be contact bot father. It's a bot to create, you, to register your bot. Okay. We, I will open a uh, bot father in the web. Here you can see I already created one bot uh, when I was preparing this tutorial. But for this tutorial, I will create a new bot and I will show you the full process from scratch. Okay, let's click on the menu and we can uh, call new bot and we need to create a name for the bot. Okay, let's uh, call it Spring Boot Bot and username for bot, for example, uh, Tetris Bot or Spring Boot Bot, it doesn't matter, but it should end in bot. Okay. Let's call it Spring Boot Bot. Okay, uh, it shows us that this username is already taken. It's okay. We can provide another one. Something like that. Okay, we have created our bot and we are provided with uh, token which we need to um, provide in our java code okay let's open our code this is code from previous tutorial as you can see rack branch where we built our rack application uh, using LangChain and chatgp and openai integration i will create a new branch from this one and i will call it telegram bot and I will provide bot configurations into the resources in application properties. Let's just provide something like bot name and bot token. And let's copy paste it from the telegram. Here is our bot token and here is our bot name. Then we will inject these properties into our code. And to build a Telegram bot in Spring, you need a dependency for Spring Boot Telegram. We navigate to the Google and enter Spring Boot Telegram starter and we select the latest dependency. We have Gradle project, so we select Gradle dependency. We add it to the build Gradle. And we are ready to provide our code. Let's create separate package and call it bot and let's create new class and call it telegram bot and we need to extend there are couple uh, there are a couple of ways to create telegram bots in java i will show you only one uh, by extending a telegram long pulling bot so we need to extend telegram long polling bot and we need to implement methods as you can see only two methods are mandatory on update received and get bot username but of course you can for example write on register or on update received uh, with multiple uh, updation updates just to handle uh, not only one update at a time but a list of updates but we will override only 
default uh, only mandatory methods from a Telegram loan polling bot. Okay, and we need to create constructor where we provide bot name and bot token. And we need to call super with bot token. In the Telegram loan polling bot, you have constructor which accepts bot token. As you can see, all other options are deprecated, so uh, you need to provide bot token through the constructor. And you need to provide a bot name. And we will initialize a bot name in the constructor. And we need to return bot name into the get bot username, return this bot name. And I believe that this username is actually Spring Boot 123 bot. Let me change it in the bot name, something like that. And yeah, we are ready to uh, write a code. All actions uh, will happen in the onUpdateRecieved method. And onUpdateRecieved accepts update object, and update object has uh, a lot of uh, nested objects, uh, and it has all the details about the message, all details about user, about the chat, etc. So we can use uh, update get message and we will receive message. Let me call it explicitly. Message contains all details about the text of the message, about the user of the message. As you can see, audio, for example, animation if present, caption, chat, chat ID, uh, contact, date, etc. Let me, you know what? Let me log this message just to show you uh, the details. We will see all details in the log and we can say that if update has message And for example, update a message has text. We only accept text when we want to proceed. Let me put it here. And we want to get message text, message get text. And let's just log this a message text. And in response, we can use execute. And we can send new send message. As you can see, all these objects are coming from Telegram uh, bot library, which we connected uh, with Telegram Sprint Boot Starter dependency. So you just need uh, to use properly these objects and manipulate the data, for example, receive text and send text or send some other uh, media, for example, audio or some images or something like that. And I want to send message to the chat 
and I, I want to receive a chat, chat ID. I can use uh, update, uh, message, get chat ID, just to identify chat, and I can send back to this chat ID to stream. Uh, my response, let me just provide hello world. And we need to surround our code with try catch. And instead of throwing new runtime exception, let's just log this. something like that. And actually, uh, we are ready to register our bot. Let's create a configuration class in our config package and call it telegram config. It's just simple configuration class from Spring Boot where we register our bin telegram bot so we call bin just to make sure Spring uh, will create this bin and register it in the application and the bot will be registered. Okay, we need to create Telegram bot bin and we want to create Telegram bot calls new telegram bot and we need to pass both bot name and bot token and as you remember they are located in the application properties so let's just connect our application properties using value annotation from spring and we can specify where values using dollar sign bot name and this is bot name and of course bot token and this uh, we specify uh, them inside the constructor And our Telegram bot initialized, but you know, to register Telegram bot in the application, it's not enough. We need to call Telegram bot API and we need to register bot manually. So we call a new Telegram bots API with default bot session. And we we need to surround it with try catch. And we need to call bot uh, telegram bot API register bot. And we are registering our telegram bot. And of course we need to return it. So we we initialize the class. We registered it using telegram bot api and we we registered and we returned our uh, our bin and let's add error handling proper error handling to our application exception during initial uh, something like that just in case we receive some errors, we will see proper exception messages in logs. And that's that's all. Let's start our application and see how it works. Okay, it's started. Let's navigate to the browser. And here's our bot. Let's navigate to it. 
we click start and we receive hello world just like that we can uh, for example provide some message and we receive back hello world and in the logs as you can see uh, we have a message which we provided in telegram just because i logged it uh, here it is login for message text and as i promised you uh, we can see all the details about message as you can see message id first name who is that username language uh, we can see for example chat id uh, we can use for example all the details for our purposes as you can see there are a lot of details coming in the message to us and yeah we actually don't need to um, lock all the details inside our logs for example we can use only message and get chat id something like that and we of course it's not interesting just to you know return hello world but what we have we have in this application we have con configuration uh, we have integration with chat gpt as you remember we have reg assistant which can be helpful assistant it has connection to chat gpt it also has memory and all details about reg assistant and integration using LangChain you can find in previous tutorials which i include in the description of this video okay and we can use this reg assistant just to um, ask questions in chat gpt and then return them back to the telegram let's call uh, let's auto wire our rec assistant and it's instead of just logging the message uh, let's call reg assistant chat and for memory id we can use chat id and for the message we can use message text and we have loan but it requires int so we can use math to int exact like intellij idea suggests us and we have response and we can send this response back to the telegram something like that and let's restart the application and check how it works as you can see uh, there is no much code for creating telegram bot and that's perfect because you don't need to spend a lot of time and efforts to create your own bot and let's try once again now let's navigate back to our spring boot bot and let's talk to it for example tell me about gravity something like that and let's check what is the response from chat gpt as you can see it's uh, pretty straightforward and it's it looks like it from chat gpt and it actually is and yeah you can communicate with uh, chat gpt or other large language models you want as you remember who watched the previous tutorials you can integrate with any uh, large language models uh, using um, LangChain for java and yeah let's you know what let let's ask something something else for example hi there mm, for example let's check what chat gpt as you can see it it's not able to provide real weather updates or something like that but yeah we can make sure that this is uh, actually communication we use large language model and well that's it uh, that's all i wanted to show you today uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video goodbye